Hey everybody, it's day one of Denver Comic Con. Uh, I'm going to be doing a whole video about this uh, weekend. And uh, so yeah, today I am Jamie Madrix, the multiple man. Uh, the plan today is I have VIP tickets to see Stan Lee. So I'm going to see Stan Lee today. And then um, Peter David is supposed to be there. If you don't know who he is, he wrote X Factor. Uh, my favorite run of comics of all time and multiple man is in there so that'll be fun um, and then hopefully a uh, lesser plan is to meet uh, Ralph Macchio today as well as Susan Eisenberg so uh, kind of a busy day I'll be running around doing a lot of stuff uh, hopefully filming a lot of stuff as well and interviewing people we'll see how it goes I'll talk to you in a bit I wanna live in a world full of heroes Not sit here counting zeros in a cubicle downtown I wanna look out my window, see them flying And swing across the horizon as I cheer them on so proud See power girl, keep staring at her face And call Colossus and have them teach me ways to marry the exercise be one of the guys When martial arts From my iron fist and wall Call down the up And teach her all my songs oh, I, I wanna live In a world full of heroes Not cooking up these heroes At my parents' restaurant now I wanna yell Out of adventures A symbol Not order And have her read my mind Or Magdalena, her artifacts I find And every catch a symphony It'll just be her and me Call Bucky Barnes and arm wrestle for hours Hey everybody, day one is complete And I'm pretty exhausted I did call it a little early uh, I'm not doing any after parties tonight when you're as famous as me, you know, everyone recognizes you at after parties and they're like, hey, let me buy the Pharaoh Wizard a shot. Just can't handle that. I got three days of this. Anyways, uh, it's a really productive and fun day. Uh, tons of pictures. Obviously, you'll see them on this video. Um, yeah, my makeup stayed pretty good. A little blotchy. That's okay. Um, anyways. Um, I completed all my tasks. I met Susan Eisenberg. She's really excited for the Wonder Woman movie. Um, and she's not doing the voice in Injustice 2. That's all right. Um, Ralph Macchio was just a delight. He was amazing. Um, and he wrote on my autograph, Two Utes. And if you understand that reference, you can be my friend. Um, I met Peter David and yeah, he signed my comic um, and he recognized my uh, multiple man shirt um, and that was good times and also Jorge Jarons uh, Jarons uh, I'm having a hard time pronouncing it and apparently Spumoni wants to be in this video because she's making all sorts of noise in the background hey Spumoni anywho a uh, big, big thing, two big things, maybe three, two big things and a funny story. There we go. So I did get to meet Stan Lee. I got a couple posters autographed and uh, and authenticated. Um, I also uh, got a picture with him. Uh, you'll see it in this video somewhere. I'm not sure I'm going to edit this together yet. Um and I got to tell him I'm named after Daredevil, uh, Matthew Murdock. Not really, but he kind of laughed. It was fun. Um, so that was great. Um, and uh, the other big kind of cool thing is Geek Fuel was there. They had a booth, and I was like, hey, I should probably talk to these guys. I promote them enough. And uh, they recognized me and my show, and that was fantastic. They invited me to a party um for tomorrow I, I might show up to that uh but i mean that was fantastic uh geek fuel does know what i'm doing for him so 
thumbs up there. And I actually met some cool people in line at, uh, for Stanley, um, both pictures and autographs. So uh, shout out to Steve, Roberta, and Karen. Um, you guys are awesome if you do see this. Uh, cool people from Colorado Springs. And Steve actually uh, um, proposed to Roberta in front of Stan Lee and made a cute little picture. It was fun. It's really good times. Um, the other kind of cool thing I want to say is uh, when I was in line for Ralph Macchio, um, a guy kind of, um, I was next in line, and a guy comes up the side. Uh, I figured he's like a VIP or something, and he had a guest pass. And I took a second, I realized it was uh, Peter David. And um, not only did he recognize me from earlier, but uh, he had the tie that Dan, uh, Joe Pesci wore in My Cousin Vinny, the actual tie, and had a Ralph sign it. And it's like, Peter David just butt in front of me with Joe Pesci's tie. That's awesome. <laughs> And that was also just some cool Ralph Macchio stuff. He is a very nice guy. Uh, but yeah, you can tell I'm very tired. And I have a very, very long day tomorrow. So uh, we'll check in then. For hours, this is NMA, and bring her lots of flowers away. It's day two, Denver Comic Con. Uh, looking kind of tired, I guess. A little bit. Anyways, uh, yeah, no cosplay today. Uh, just wearing my shield uh, tech support shirt. Uh, I am taking my parents today. Uh, so that's their first Comic Con. So we'll see how they enjoy that. Uh, goals for today um, is meet Cersei. Uh, Lena Lena Henley and uh, Brett Spiner data because my dad's a huge uh, Star Trek fan and it's actually gonna be a bit of a surprise for him uh, beyond that it's actually just gonna be a very long day for me uh, I may go to after parties I do have some things right after it as well downtown so long day I'll update as we go Right, so this is your guys first con are you expecting anything are you worried about anything I'm not worried no don't know what to expect <laughs> interesting costumes already we haven't even got in there you go yeah. cool are you excited to meet queen cersei yes i am queen cersei huh? queen cersei I, I, I only will go with if she has a birthday <laughs> <laughs> You did a great walk of fame. <laughs> you can be my cosplay queen and I will be your king. We can spend our lives together, putting needles into leather. Tell me, round this sewing machine, there is no place I'd rather be. And sitting here beside you with the smell of tape and hot glue. Do you remember five years ago today? You were hanging on the steps and you were in your Shira dress. I was cross playing Jean Grey and you asked me where my Scott was. Yeah, you look just like a goddess. And can be my cosplay king and I will be your queen We can spend our lives together Putting needles into leather Tell me, around this sewing machine There is no place I'd rather be Than sitting here beside you With the smell of tape and hot glue Never thought that you could understand The feelings I had for you 
saw you dressed as Mega Man And I was cosplayed Dr. Who So, what do you think of your first comic book convention? Go ahead. Go ahead? I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, it was very exciting. They, it, some of the costumes were just incredible. People have put a lot of time, money, and effort into those things, and um, it was very upbeat. Uh, I had a very good time. Yeah, it was fun. It was a little crowded for my taste, but it was fun. <laughs> it really was fun, and the costumes were amazing. They really were amazing. Was it everything you expected? Was it different than you expected? I think it was about everything I expected. I did expect to have to see more of uh, vendor booths yeah. um, than they had, but um, I would think there would be more things like you know instead of just one or two T-shirts, more places with T-shirts, more you know things to sell and stuff. But there was quite a bit of it. But I thought there'd be more of that. But it was actually overall it was it was it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Completely. Yeah. It was a lot more people than I expected. <laughs> it really was. I mean, I don't want to say it was crowded again, but... No, we're the uh, third biggest comic, Comic-Con official oh, wow. okay. con in, this, in the country. Yeah, it was, it was much bigger than and I And we expected. actually might beat New York this year, so we might wow. become number two. It was, it was just but incredible. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Do you uh, enjoy Cersei more or Data more? <laughs> I, I like Data more. Just because... Data was a little more... Friendly. Cersei wasn't unfriendly by any means, but he at least spoke. I don't think she talked too much. She talked to me. She did talk to you, yeah. You yeah. got to talk to them first. I know. Uh, and I had no idea what to say. The whole time in line, I was thinking, what am I going to say to her, you know? You do have to prep, prep something because he got a very short time. Yeah. 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 And I had no clue what to say, so I just didn't. <laughs> I was going to say, great, you know, Luke, great in your birthday suit, but, you know, I didn't think it was appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Any last thoughts or uh, words about uh, Denver Comic Con 2016? Yeah. Uh, no. I just think uh, I, I would be really, you know, excited about going next year again just because it was just, it was just a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself completely. Yep. You saw the man behind the curtain. A man that had to love you, honey You can be my cosplay king And I will be your king We can spend our lives together Putting needles into leather Till so Day two of the con is complete uh, But if you don't know this, I'm actually a lacrosse fan Let me get a sun here And there's a, a lacrosse game going on right now And so I'm going to head over to that And I'll probably throw in some footage for that as well and I'm going to check that out. So that's part of why I have a really long day today. So go outlaws. Day two, officially in the books. I'm exhausted. Uh, um, yeah. I mean, it's a busy day. Uh, the busiest of the con, the biggest attendance. Uh, I met uh, Leah Headley and Brett Spiner. Um my parents first con they seem to have a really good time a lot a lot of walking um, downtown at the same time there was also pride fest so once you got out of the convention center there was just more people there just people everywhere uh, but I made it went to the outlaws game Denver outlaws lacrosse they lost and now it's time to eat a frosty and get in my cozy pants. See you for day three. Uh, 
All right, about to start day three of Denver Comic Con. Today I am uh, Robin on laundry day. You know, my armor is being dry cleaned. And some days you can't stay home just washing your tights. Uh, just really taking it easy today. Um, going to be looking for John Ramada Jr. Uh, some other artists. That's about it. Kind of just hanging out today, taking it easy. Uh... Yeah, I got a little burnt out yesterday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here we go, day three. Can be my cosplay king and I will be your king. We can spend our lives together, putting needles into leather. Tell me, round this soul machine, there is no place I'd rather be. Sitting here beside you with the smell of tape and hot glue. Cosplay queen and I will be your king We can spend our lives together Putting needles into leather Tell me, round this soul machine There is no place I'd rather be Sitting here beside you With the smell of tape and hot glue You can be my cosplay queen And I will be your queen We can spend our lives together Day three completed, uh, letting it go a little early today, but I got everything I needed to accomplish. Met John Ramada Jr., uh, Brett Booth, uh, Tony Moore, so some good guys, some good names, had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Denver Comic Con 2016. Pretty hectic, pretty fun, lots of good times. Yeah. Talk to you in high school Couldn't even get a look Cause you were too cool But now we're older And we're playing by the new 